my face I might splash a little bit of water and then um, go into my skincare because I don't feel like I need to that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna use my pour moi the hydrating balancer so there is a little bit of acid in this but not too much and the acid actually helps um, with any of my discoloration it also helps exfoliate a little bit I'm actually running low on this stuff because I brought it from home. That's what this looks like. So it comes in this pump and I use it day and night. Normally this would have lasted longer than just my trip, but um, I was using it before my trip. Tonight I'll use the Pore Moi Serum. I use the white serum. That's really good at help balancing my skin. But during the day, I want a little more antioxidants to help protect my skin. So I'm using the Sun Tegrity Rebound Organic Antioxidant Renewal and Boosting Serum. This is pretty new to the brand. I'm a huge fan of this brand. And a little goes a long way with this stuff. So I use about that much. Super hydrating. I brought only one eye cream with me and this is the Wamisa Organic Flower Eye Essence. This is a very lightweight cream so it worked really well for both desert and tropical climates. Moisturizer is climate based from Pore Moi. I was using the desert one while I was in Arizona and then I brought the tropical climate one for Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Um, this makes traveling so much easier. A lot of the times my moisturizers don't go from one climate to the other. And it, between the airplane, the airport, and stress, and climate change, your skin really gets thrown off balance. And that's when I find I break out or I get flaky skin. So this is great in the sense that it helps maintain your skin's like balance and moisture levels and this way I don't get as many breakouts if any and the flakiness doesn't have to happen. They also take into account air conditioning or heat, um, all that stuff. So it's really nice. Tropical one is really lightweight but still very moisturizing and it just feels really nice on the skin. It keeps me hydrated but not greasy or oily or heavy. It's perfect for humid hot weather so i let that soak in a little bit and then i go in with my spf combination so normally i would do one or the other but because i am in the sun quite a bit here i'm going to do a combination of chemical and physical if you're allergic to chemical don't do this obviously but i'm not uh i'm pretty good with most chemical spfs and after talking to my dermatologist, I'm okay with it. So the SPF 30 from Kula is their full spectrum 360 sun silk drops. This is new. I'm really loving this. It's super lightweight. This is supposed to protect you from the blue lights off of your electronics, as well as the UV rays from the sun. And I just do a little bit and pop this in. It's really lightweight and I love this. It works beautiful under makeup if you're wearing makeup. And if I wasn't really going outside or doing anything, I could just get away with this. But because I'm being extra careful, I'm layering my Sun Tegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen in Golden Light on my face. Because this is my favorite. I've been using the light one all winter, but I'm definitely Golden Light right now. And it's a pump. And I do at least one pump. But I'm trying to get the founder on my podcast because she has an amazing story of how she founded Suntegrity. And I love how clean their ingredients are and the efficacy of the products and the brand. So I just apply that everywhere. Then I'm going to brush my teeth and I'm using my Schmitz Activated Charcoal Toothpaste. Mouthpaste Chris and I have been sharing this and then I'll go into the other room and do my makeup. 
And for those of you guys who ask me if I still oil pull, I do, and I even bring it with me when I travel. I don't do it every day anymore because I don't feel like I need to. And honestly, it's just because I'm lazy. I do it a couple times a week. I love the results, and typically it helps me stay healthier and not get as many headaches. I brought my Capari oil pullers for travel because they're just easier. Let's move into some makeup. I'm gonna do my brows. For my brows, I've been testing out the Elate Cosmetics Brow Balm in Smoke. And I like it, it's kind of like a waxy um, brow product. It can kind of slip and slide if you're really oily but I just set it with powder. And then for my eyes, I'm using the Milk Makeup Eyeshadow Quad in Day Goals. I'm gonna use this peachy shade, or beigey shade, on my brow bone. Into my inner corner. I'm gonna use this shade all over my lid. I'm going to go in with the deeper shade on the outer corners. Going in with my Ilia and She Was eyeshadow crayon on my lower lash line. Tiny, tiny little bit of concealer under my eyes. And a little bit, I have like these weird marks on my face. I have my Hourglass New Veil uh, Powder. I love this stuff. I know some people don't like it. I love it. I don't really know what people are saying about it. I saw some comments that it got mixed reviews. I'm putting that under my eyes. Kind of blotting it all over my face. I've been testing out this Make Bronzer in Joshua Tree. It's their bronzing brick. So I just kind of put this on my cheeks. I was told to stop crimping my lashes for a while because I was breaking my lashes off. So I received this Sugar Lash Lash Brow Contour and it's a heated lash curler. So I'm turning that on to heat up. It only takes like 20 seconds. I'm using a little bit of eyeliner. This is my Sisley Paris Sparkling Brown Fido Cold Star Waterproof Eyeliner. This stuff is beautiful. It goes on really, really smooth. I'm only smudging a tiny little bit in my lash line to define my eyes. I'm taking my heated lash curler and I just lift my lashes a little bit. And I'm using my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Love this stuff. It's been working great at the beach, at the pool, in hot weather, in humid weather. I've also been testing out these Make Moon Sticks, and this is in <clears throat> Moonbeam. So I'm gonna put this on my cheekbones. just a little more color on the cheeks because we are shooting photos. I'm using my Ilia Cheek to Chic Blush. Well, it's multi-stick. I just take a little bit on my fingers and focus it here and blend it up. And then my lip product and then my lip product is actually in my bag so I'm going to go grab that. To finish off my look, I'm going towards the mirror there's a hubs back there but basically this is what I look like super super like natural really easy no fuss and if this wears off it wears off I'm not gonna fuss about it the lip color I've been using and reapplying a lot is also my SPF for my lips your lips are really delicate so you want to make sure you wear some sort of SPF this is from Suntegrity once again it's their lip CPR and I have the shade uh, sunset coral so I really love this it's all I've been using really for a lip color
So that's the finished face look, and then I'm gonna show you what I do on my body. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know I am notoriously a magnet for mosquitoes. I also swell really quickly. What I've been using to kind of help with that is I take my SPF and I use a lotion. So I either use a Suntegrity Natural Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30, this is more like if I'm not going to be laying out because I want a little bit more um, intensity today because we are going to, after we shoot photos, go to the beach and lay out at the pool, beach or pool. Um, I'm using my sun bum, <clears throat> sorry, my sun bum lotion, which is an SPF 70. And what I do with this is I pour a bunch in my hand and then I mix two drops of citronella one to two drops of lavender oil and I mix it into my lotion and this kind of helps repel some of the bugs as well as mainly for me <clears throat> mosquitoes and I lather this from toes all the way up to my neck and I forgot my ears the first day and so this ear got attacked so when I say I'm a notorious mosquito magnet I am a notorious mosquito magnet but this has been working really well at keeping the bugs away and afterwards I our routine has been like we go do our stuff we come back we rinse off and then we go work out at the hotel gym and after my workout I don't want to shower before dinner because I just get sweaty in this environment so what I'll do is I'll use DEET because I'm sweaty and um, mosquitoes tend to be more attracted to sweaty people so I use this on my hands and I rub it on any exposed skin and I go and eat real quick um, and I come back and scrub all of this off, but it's been helping really really well and I've also just been applying straight up lavender oil. I brought this stuff on my Bug bites to soothe the itching and it I feel like it helps more than any of the cortisone creams or steroid creams that I've had in the past um that's what I do and I usually do it naked so I can get everywhere so I'm not gonna show you that part so that is my tropical vacation get ready with me in terms of beauty and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did and you'd like to know more about the stuff we've been doing on vacation then check out our second channel more serene I have it linked in the description box and we've been doing little vlog montages and vlogs of our trip from Arizona all the way to Mexico Hope you guys enjoy the vlogs if you like that kind of stuff and if not I have more beauty videos coming up on this channel every Tuesday every Sunday plus there's gonna be bonus uploads um, my schedule's gonna get thrown off a little bit in May because I'm traveling so much I'm gonna go home from Mexico for a couple days but then I'll be in New York back and I'll be back in Phoenix so it's gonna be intense um, if you want to see more travel stuff definitely check out my second channel but I will try and film as much beauty video as possible and try to stick to the schedule but just know subscribe do it now five four three two one did you hit it and then turn on the post notifications which is that little bell so hopefully when I upload a new video you'll get a little notification on your phone your iPad or your computer so you'll know when there's a new video but I promise you I will do two new videos every week there will be videos on my second channel as well I'm also going to be announcing the giveaway winners over on my insta stories for my Instagram hidden giveaways make sure you're following me over on Instagram and check me out daily over on stories to find out what's going on so until next time thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful lovely day So